mined from a riverbed. Gold is usually found in rivers that are near paleovolcanoes or volcanoes that are no longer active. Such examples of jewelry or turquoise. Sapphire with diamonds. This is amethyst with um, amethyst with um, amethyst with uh, uh, what's the mineral called? Um, I can't think. Silver. A mineral. This is turquoise. This is peridot. All of these are minerals. Here's onyx in a gold ring. Here's amethyst with diamonds. This is a diamond. It is the hardest mineral known. This is topaz mined in Mexico. It is a mineral and used for jewelry. The quartz family is often used for jewelry. This is a beautiful geode of quartz crystals. Clear quartz crystals. This is a specimen of somewhat smoky quartz. Perfect cleavage, I mean a perfect crystal form. Mined in Colorado, that specimen happens to have been polished up by a lapidary. This one wasn't. This is clear quartz crystal. It is hexagonal in shape with a hexagonal termination or end. Tiger eye is a form of quartz. When you look at tiger eye, tiger eye you'll see filaments inside of it. Those filaments are chrysotile, a mineral. It is a type of asbestos. This is asbestos and was used for many years by mankind for insulation in houses and buildings. This is blue quartz. This is another form of quartz called citrine. This is smoky quartz. Brown to black. This one looks black, but smoky quartz is really a very dark brown in color. Here we have amethyst, a beautiful purple form of quartz. Here is milky quartz. This is green aventurine, a green form of quartz. This is red aventurine, a red form of quartz. A pink form of quartz, not shown here, is called pink quartz. Calcite. Calcite is a mineral. It comes in different colors. This is green calcite. It has concordial fracture or concordial 
cleavage, which means if you break it apart, it breaks apart in smaller crystal fragments. It is euhedral, meaning perfect crystal shape. Here is a gray and white specimen of calcite. And you can see the perfect cleavage on one side, but a lot of it has been eroded and is anhedral or no crystal form. Here's calcite on a rock. There's a form of subhedral calcite, meaning some crystal form. It is white. Another form of quartz is chalcedony. It can be used as a decorative stone and polished up by a lapidary and cut. The colors, again, come from impurities. And that covers all, except minerals that have special properties that you can't see with your normal eye. Let's take a look at those rocks now. This is uranium oxide. It is black. It is radioactive, meaning it gives apart alpha, beta, and gamma radiation where the nuclei and atoms are breaking apart and emitting electrons as beta radiation, alpha radiation of helium nuclei, and gamma radiation of pure energy. You can pick it up on a Geiger counter that detects radiation. This is Franklinite. It is a rock. It has two special properties. First of all, it contains iron and is magnetic. I can feel the attraction with the magnet. Franklinite also has another special property to it. Franklinite is fluorescent. Under an ultraviolet lamp, it glows green. Other type of minerals that are fluorescent glow other colors, such as pink. These are mined in New Jersey. Hematite is an interesting creature. It is made of an oxide relative it's a relative of magnetite hematite also comes in a more earthy color earthy meaning dull and can be scratched and it consists of iron rust it is rust Let me show you Bowen's reaction series. In Bowen's reaction series, we see two different types of rocks, the continuous and the discontinuous branches. They are either mafic, meaning they are calcium rich and also uh, silica rich. 
and consists of such minerals as potassium felspar, found in granite. I don't have plagioclase felspar, but it's a gray in color and is often used as a ornamental stone, meaning ornamental stones are used in buildings for walls and beauty. Dimensional stones include ornamental stones and dimensional stones are used in buildings, landscape, rock mulch, and other applications such as slate, walkways, and other types of construction used by man. Ultramafic is rare on the surface of the earth and consists of the most ultramafic mineral, not olivine here, but actually peridot. Ultramafics tend to be green. These are peridots and are also used in jewelry. This is pyroxene, an ultramafic rock. Notice it is green in color. As well as this mafic rock, amphibole. Here's powdered pyroxene. It's green. I forgot to show you my pink calcite. A family refers to a group of minerals that have the same um, molecular composition. And remember, Molecules consist of elements. An element, such as bismuth, is also a collector's item in rocks and minerals. This bismuth was cooled slowly in a laboratory, leaving a beautiful crystal shape. So, quartz is a family of minerals. Clear quartz.